So what are the steps that we need to follow in order to develop any control systems? There are mainly three key steps that we need to, do, to perform, and I'm gonna walk you through them right now because we're gonna use them at some point to develop our PID controller in Simulink. So the first step that we need, again, that's an overview of, the, of our system or the control system. The first step is we need to develop what we call a mathematical model for our process. I hope you guys are experts by now when it comes to developing mathematical models. It's very similar to what we have done before when we try to control our battery, correct? If you recall, we had a battery and we wanted to develop mathematical equations or just equations that tells us or describes how these batteries work. In a very simple form, if you wanted to control, let's say, water within a tank, it's really simple. We're gonna try to develop equations that describes what's the volume of the tank? You know, how, do, like, how does water, for example, leave or go into the tank and so on? Once we have that mathematical equation, that's good. Okay, why? Because we can put these equations, put them directly within basically our controller or our computer, and that's it, then we're good to go, okay? That's the first step. Second step is that we need to select the sensor. We need to know what measurements do we need to take. So in this case, we are actually measuring the level of fluid within the tank, right? Or level of water within the tank. So you need to select, okay, for example, like a level sensor or like, you know, like whatever sensor you need. So you need to make sure that you select the right sensor for the right application, right? Third step is that we need to develop what we call the controller, okay? And that's if you recall before that, okay, like the operator measured this, measure the actual level of the tank, he knows what he want to go, and then he decides in his brain, how much do I need to open or close the valve, right? And how fast do I need to do it? All these decisions are very important. And actually we do that, we actually implement the most advanced, you know, like PID controllers in our brain without even realizing, right? So what we need to do is that we need to capture what we do in our brain and actually do it mathematically. And that's what we call it controller. And that's one of the most important controllers is what we call it proportional integral derivative controller. It sounds fancy, but it's really simple. It's a PID controller, okay? And these are the key three elements that we need to follow when we design or develop any control system. Get a mathematical equation or a model for the plant, which is we have done before. We know how to model batteries, for example. We're gonna know how to develop, um, we knew how to develop or model um, a mass spring damper system. We need to select a sensor. And third step, we need to know, okay, how can I make, you know, add smartness in there? How can I make an actual control, take a control action when we design our controllers? And these are the key, three key elements. So let's dive right in and look into how can we develop an actual PID controller in the next section.